Hi, I'm Victoria Okanieski with Moore Sewing Center in Southern California. And today on your Janome MC9450, we're gonna make masks. I have made over 250 masks for family and friends here in California, back home in Michigan, and in New York. I just wanna keep my family and friends safe. So today I wanna to show you how to cut three um, masks at a time. I have tweaked the original pattern that we had and I want to show you some tips and some ideas to um, cutting it, cutting the masks. So I have my bolt of fabric right here and I am going to, let's put some glasses on, and I'm going to cut 10 inches. So I have it at 27. Let's move this like this. 17. Um, you can put it on your cutting board, my cutting board. I also have a mat that has the increments on it, which makes it very easy to cut. Okay. So I'm going to cut 10 inches. And it's 10 inches width to the length of the fabric. Okay, so now I cut it on the fold. Okay. And I'm going to tell you why I cut it on the fold. It makes it easier when you're sewing. Okay, so with that, with the fold right here, I am going to cut seven inches because an adult size is nine and a quarter by seven inches. So I'm going to put my fabric here and I'm going to cut seven inches and I'm going to grab my other ruler right here and I'm going to cut seven inches. Okay, then I'm going to cut nine and a quarter because I want it to be nine and a quarter by seven inches. So let's do nine and a quarter. Right here. And I have one mask all ready to go. Now, I can get two more masks with the fabric that I cut. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take individually the pieces of fabric and I'm going to finger press so that now I have a fold just like I have a fold on the um, first one I cut and I'm going to finger press and I'm going to put them together and we're going to cut seven inches Okay. There we go, seven inches. Okay, by nine and a quarter. And I have three individual masks right now. And now we're gonna take them over to the machine. Okay, so now we're gonna get started sewing. I've turned my machine on, I'm in a comfortable chair. I have my uh, navy blue thread, top and bottom, and the bobbin is a navy blue thread. I have my three pieces of fabric right here. We're gonna do one. So I'm gonna take the other two and put them aside. And I'm gonna show you there's two different ways that you can do the seam. And the reason why I did the fold is because now I don't have two seams. But if you had fabric that you had pieces of fabric, which I had a lot of that um, uh, in my stash, and you had to do two seams, it's okay. But this just makes it easier when you only have one seam, which would be here on the top. So there's two ways. You can sew it at a quarter inch, which is what we're gonna to do today. Or you could take it to your serger and serge the egg, the um, one edge. And then that's all you would have to do for the serger because um, you have to sew the sides. So it would be either with a serger or with a quarter inch. And that's what we're gonna to do today is sew with a quarter inch. So I went into, 
Hi, my name is Mana Sheen, and on the um, screen here, I'm in the utilities section, and I've got my A foot on, and I've got number one, and that's what I'm going to sew on. Now, we're going to take, we're going to take our piece of fabric, and I am going to do a quarter inch, and my quarter inch is going to be at the end of um, my foot right here which you could use your quarter inch foot and you could use your quarter inch foot with a guide because you would have your guide and be able to do the quarter inch. But I've got it on the A foot. I'm gonna take my end here and I'm gonna line it up to the side of my foot, press down, And I'm going to sew my seam. Take my scissor and cut it. And now I have my quarter inch seam. Now I'm going to take you over to my pressing station, which is right next to my sewing machine. I like this. This is the new Cutter Pillar Tempered Glass. And if you look on here, you can see the, um, the uh, inch increments on here as well to help you when you are sewing and you're pressing. Um, I put a piece of batting on the bottom because I noticed that when I put it on my cherry wood cabinet, I couldn't see the, um, the numbers. And I like to, I like to iron with, um, with the measurements because um, that's an easy way to measure what you're, what you're ironing. So I am going to take my sleeve ironing board. And this is um, a smaller size and you have the larger size. We're gonna go, and you see, can, can see I use it a lot. And I'm gonna take the larger size. And what we wanna do is we wanna press open this seam. So I'm going to, I really like this new um, tempered glass ironing board and the new little iron that comes, that uh, you can also purchase. Um, and I just, I love that I have this right next to me when I'm sewing. And um, it's an easy way, it's just convenient. And also, it, this iron works really, really well. I have it on three. I'm gonna just put the, the, um, the legs down here. Now, what I wanna do is I wanna press to one side. So I'm gonna take and I'm gonna press down one side and look at how nice this presses, okay? Put the legs back up. Now what you wanna do is you just wanna do, um, where's my scissors right here? I like to cut my threads as I go along. That is like one of my pet peeves. Okay, so now I'm gonna take, I just wanna finger press a quarter of an inch down. I'm gonna take my iron. You can see I'm just pressing it down here. After doing 250, um, normally what I did is I made so many at a time and was able to um, just sew them and then iron them. And I kind of had like a little uh, assembly line going. Okay. So I'm going to go all the way around and this just helps you to stay in this like tube that it is. Okay, so I'm at the end here. Now I'm going to take the other side, do the same thing, make sure that everything is ironed real nice and you can see how nice this little iron irons. I like it too because the tempered glass um, ironing board here comes with a uh, tote bag. So you could take your tempered glass and your little iron to classes. And when you're at classes, you're able to have your own little ironing station um, right next to your machine. Or if you go on sewing retreats, you have your little iron here. So I really, I really like this. Okay, there we go. So now, let me show you. So now I have a quarter inch all the way around on both sides, okay? 
Now I'm gonna take, let's put the sleeve ironing board here to the side. I am gonna take and I'm going to fold this up right side, okay? And you can see, here's my seam. I'm gonna take my seam and I'm gonna make sure that it goes all the way to the end. So now I'm gonna iron it like so. Okay, and you just wanna make sure that everything lays really nice. There we go. And now, now you're ready to, to make your mask. So I just wanna make sure that I get my pleats out of here and everything is nice. There we go. There we go. Okay, now, now I'm ready to make my pleats. And when I look at here, I'm just gonna make, I'm gonna make three pleats is what I want. So I'm gonna kinda eye it right here, and then I'm gonna kinda finger press, and I'm gonna take my pins, and I'm going to put a pin with the head of the pin out so that it's easy for me to take out as I'm sewing. Okay. Kind of finger press it. Then I'm gonna do another one. I'm kind of eyeing it because I've done so many of them. And I did, you know, I used my fabric in my stash and I did um, a bunch of kids one with some um, uh, Batman fabric, Superman fabric. And they really, they had fun doing that. I even had some Ninja Turtle fabric. And um, I just made a whole bunch in all different colors and let everybody choose what they wanted. Now I'm gonna do it again and I'm gonna kind of finger press. Okay. And then I also had a lot of orders because um, my family members, they have to wear them for work or for or for going just like with us going to stores and stuff so they wanted to be able to um they wanted to be able to uh change off so before i go and i um before i go and iron this i'm going to make sure that it's three inches and it is three inches okay that's why i like this mat because i can see all of my There we go. Look at how nice this, this press is so nice. I really like this little iron. Okay. And I'm able to go right here just to make, and you'll see that ironing this before you go and sew makes a big, 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 big difference because your pleats are not going to um, get away from you when you're sewing. So there you go. I have it all pleated and ready to go. Okay, now we're ready to sew. I have my mask. You can see how nice the pleats all look. I have my pins all ready here to take out as I'm sewing. Now I wanna cut my elastic, and I'm gonna grab my elastic. And in front of your machine, you see you have nine inches? Well, you need seven inches on each side of your mask. So I'm going to measure seven inches. Okay, elastic over here on the side. And then I'm gonna put them here on the side so that I can have easy access to them. Now I've got my thread to the back. That's how I like to sew. I'm gonna put my elastic inside. Okay, you'll see how easy it is to just sew. 
set that elastic right in there just like that. Okay. I am going to put my foot down. I'm going to take my pin out. And I'm just going to hold on and I'm going to sew. And sometimes I like to put my foot up just to make sure everything's nice and um, smooth. Because remember, if I hadn't ironed this, you'll be playing with that. And that's not fun. So we're going to, then I'm going to put needle down, my foot up, and I'm going to take my elastic with the right side like this. I'm going to just kind of finger so that it's all nice and smooth because you don't want it to be tangled up there. And I'm going to put the other one inside, the other side right here. Put my foot down. And there we go. Okay. Now, you can cut your threads when you're done, but again, that's just one of my pet peeves. I just like to have everything cut as I go along. Now I want to do the other side. Okay. So now I'm going to take the one. I'm going to do the same thing. Put it inside there. Okay. I sit down. Take the first pin out because I don't want to... There we go. Now I'm going to take the other pin out. Again, you don't want to go over your pins. Your needle will break. Your, you mess up. Sometimes you can mess up your machine really bad. Okay. And I kind of, I have a habit. I use my nails just to kind of, there we go, to kind of smooth things along. Foot up. Do the same thing. Make sure my elastic is smooth. Put it to the side here, put it inside like that, put down, and there we go. And cut. Okay. Oops. And again, I'm gonna cut my I'm gonna cut my threads because I like to. There we go. Then you wanna cut, you wanna sew, I'm sorry, you wanna sew on both sides to just make a nice, beautiful stitch. And I just kind of go real, kind of close to the edge, kind of eye it. But you just want to do a nice, um, a nice stitch that looks really nice, and I'll show you. See how nice that stitch looks right there? Again, I'm gonna cut my threads, okay. I'm gonna do the other side. There we go. All right. There we go. And look at that. My mask is all done. So when you go put this on, it will open up. Okay, and we're done. We made a mask today. I'd like to show you another one of my favorite notions that we sell at Moore's Sewing Center. And that is our quilting clips. They come in three different sizes. You have a large, a medium, and a small. And they are just like that, they, they clip on. These are really fun to use when you're putting on seam binding, when maybe you're sewing something that's a little bit thicker for a pin and you have a hard time putting a pin in. Sometimes you're doing a quilt that you don't want any um, pin marks on it. It's a good way to clip your um, uh, uh, quilts together as well. So I wanna show you, we're gonna make another mask, but I'm gonna show you how easy it is to uh, use the clips. So I already have this all ironed down. Take my sleeve iron board away, and I'm going to just put the right side of the fabric. Okay, do the same thing. I'm gonna take the um, seam, kind of finger press it. Okay, I've got my clips here ready to use. I'm gonna take my little mini iron, and I'm gonna iron my fabric down so it's nice and smooth and again this iron just is such a nice 
a nice added touch to your sewing room. Okay, that down. And I'm gonna do my three pleats. Okay, and I'm gonna kind of finger press like so. I take a clip and I clip the one side here and I'm gonna clip the other side. Yeah, kind of finger press it. Take another pleat, make a nice pleat. Take my clips and clip that side. Clip the other side. Okay, and another pleat to make my third and final pleat. So, okay, again on the other side, and you can see I've got the clips on there, just like that. And I've got my three nice pleats. I measure my three inches, perfect. Then I'm gonna take my iron, I'm gonna iron the pleats down, because again, it makes it so much easier when you iron those pleats down. And the tip of the iron goes right into where I need. And then I see this one I didn't clip together, so I'm going to re-clip it. There we go. Now it makes it real easy to make my pleats. Take it right up to the top of my pleats. And there you go. Look at how fun that is with my clips. Put these clips right here and you can see how that goes. Okay, now we're going to sew our elastic on our mask. Okay, now we're ready to sew. I'm gonna get my elastic, and again, I have the measurements right here in front of my machine. I'm gonna measure out seven inches, because this is an adult size. Okay, and I think this is my um, second spool that I went through with all the ones that I made. Okay, put my elastic on the side. I'm gonna put my elastic right here on the side so I can, I can um, have easy access to it. And again, I'm going to put the one right here inside my mask, put my foot down. And again, this is when I, I'm not real fast when I'm doing this. I took the first clip out there we go. Make sure everything is nice and smooth, and it is. Okay, I'm going to take it. And see how easy? Just taking those clips right out when you're sewing. Okay, now my foot up. I'm going to take my elastic, and I'm going to make sure it's nice and smooth. Turn the corner with it. Put it inside foot down and there you go cut my thread and again like I said I like to have my thread cut okay now I'm going to do the other side see how easy it is to use these clips they're a lot of fun I like using the clips as well when um, I was making a whole bunch of them um, I have a big container full of the clips and I it made it easy for me to go ahead and and put the clips on and do it. Again, I'm gonna put at the edge, I'm gonna put my elastic. I'm going to put my foot down. I'm gonna take my first clip out. So make sure everything is nice and smooth. There we go. Take the next clip out. Take the next clip out. And now I'm gonna just lift my foot up, do the same thing. Make sure this is nice and smooth. Go all the way around. Put my elastic in there, foot down. And there you go. And again, I'm gonna cut my threads. Okay, and now I'm going to make my and you know, if you didn't want to do just a regular stitch, you could use a decorative stitch. 
depends on how you want it to look. When I was making so many of them, it was just the same stitch. But for the kids, um, a couple of the little girls that I had, I did do um, a uh, decorative stitch just to make it kind of look cute for them. You can do what you want. Again, be creative. You're creating um, these masks. Make them your own design. Okay. There we go. Cut my threads. Okay. And we have another mask all done. My, I wanted to show you another one of my favorite notions. And I just want you to, I just want to re, uh, remind you that any of the notions, any of the product that you see me using in my videos, please feel free to contact mores-sew.com to purchase anything that you've seen that I've shown you today. And on any of the videos that you see with me, um, you can purchase them right on our website. I, okay, we finished another one. Okay, so we made our mask today. I, this came out really, really well. Um, you might wanna grab a piece of paper and a pen, and I will give you some measurements on the different sizes. Now, your, your adult one, remember, is nine and a quarter by seven inches, and your elastic is seven inches on both sides. Now, I've noticed that with myself and a couple other um, family members and friends that I had made them for, this was just a little bit too big at the seven inches. Just cut it down an inch if it's too big. You want this to be the same size, but from, from, the, from the mask around with the elastic, you might have to make it a little bit shorter. So I found that for a lot of family members, I was making the elastic at six as opposed to the seven. Then we have, and you can make all different colors with the adults. Um, I made several different colors because for myself, because it has to match what I'm wearing. Um, if that doesn't matter to you, that's okay, but it's just a little kind of a little fun thing for me. I made all different colors. And I also made a lot of black ones, just, you know, um, all one color. Um, I noticed that um, uh, some family members have, have working in restaurants and wanted um, all the employees to wear the same color. So that's kind of cool too. Then for the kids, you want to go down to um, five by seven. So seven inches by five. They still get, they only get two pleats. If you can see, there's only two pleats. And then I went down to six inches, sometimes five, depending on the child. If it's a smaller child, um, three years old, you're going to want to go with five inches. An older child, seven, eight, ten maybe would be um, the uh, six inches. Now, if you have somebody that is a larger person, um, then you're gonna wanna go an inch up with everything. So I did 10 and a quarter by eight inches, and then I did eight inches for the elastic on either side. That's when that's someone who has a larger face and needs the mask to fit perfect, okay? Now, I did a lot with, um, uh, baseball fabric. I did um, uh, teams. Um, I'm from Michigan, so I did a lot of Red Wings and Tigers uh, masks that um, came out really good too. And then some people prefer to have the seam binding on it. So I did make some with seam binding. Um, and, they, and I also found that a lot of the kids, it was more comfortable to have seam binding to be tied in the back than it was to have the elastic. So if you wanted to do seam binding, um, and this one is an adult size one, so again, I did um, the nine and a quarter by seven inches, but if you did the child, remember it's five by seven, this uh, seam binding is 22 inches on either side. And then I just sewed from one end all the, all the way down. So that's how you can do if you're using seam binding. Um, also with the masks, um, you can do, um, I just did cotton and patisse. I didn't do any, I didn't do any other kind of fabric. Um, I didn't put anything in the middle. You saw that it was just 
one piece of fabric on the top, one piece of fabric on the bottom. Um, use your stash. Uh, uh, be creative with them and have fun because right now we need to be safe. So be safe and have fun making your masks.